injustices some say don't exist although they still persist and still I risk a piece of my legitimacy when I say I feel at risk because my granddaddy fought so I wouldn't have to be so now I live for those who come after me so they can fly free from fear of inadequacy I've had some good days I've had some hills to climb I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights, but they were nothing like my granddaddy's. Because when I look around and think things over, I favor my mama's daddy, but the flavor of my mama's daddy may be more bitter. And sweeter than peanut brittle, I see society comparatively. <coughs> my eyes gleam with restless hope. His carry a tinge of oppression-induced judgment on his face, cheeks beaten and battered by battles, lift high and smile, and I, his child, lift cheeks similar. Although they have been shaped by his struggle, they know nothing of the sort, comparatively. Our lips, both blackened by sun, both thresholds for prayer, have kissed different lexicons. Curls form waves on our crowns, but it seems a little rockier. Our ears curl at the call of our names, but I never had the answer to boy. Hands hardened by work, hands on the field of cotton, mine on the field of sport, they say I look like my granddad. Born in Athens, roamed on farms. I claim New York. And I won't sleep until everyone knows that I've grown so strong because my granddaddy had sown such long seeds of faith inside of me. And one day, he saw me as a grown man. Tears fell like day old raindrops off of bare autumn branches. Because we both knew that those from the land of strange fruit produce even stranger preserves. <laughs> Children who know the difference between the danger from before and the anger that has been stored for no reason. Now I am cheesing, teething on these rings of history constructed by my granddaddy. I am an extension of this warrior. And when I look in the mirror, I hope he sees me. There. 